So yeah, I know I'm very, very, very late to this topic, but you know, I said in a couple of videos beforehand, exams kill me, bro. They kill me. But besides that, Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> I, 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 if I can describe you my the shock I had when Apple revealed this, it would not be enough. Like in just like in like two minutes or something like that, because. I was actually pretty shocked because Apple, for the first time in well over a decade, has launched a brand new product. And apparently the Apple Vision Pro is Apple's take on a AR, VR headset type. Basically, it has the features from an iPhone, iPad, or and Mac into a, uh, into a headset. It takes, uh, it identifies you using the iris of your eye. And basically, you know, you can open up your applications, you can browse the internet, you can watch movies, you can work, you can do like, basically anything you can do on an iPhone, iPad, and Mac, you can do it on a on a uh, VR headset. And orig originally, that does sound very cool, until you look at two things. Number one, the design. It doesn't really look like a true VR headset, I, and I understand that they designed it in a way where people, like, even though you, you see things on your... Uh, on your headset, you'll still be able to see people around you, which is pretty cool. But the design doesn't really complement that. Now, does it Apple? And secondly, and most obviously, you know it's an Apple product when they uh, do some insane pricing. But I did not expect it to be this insane. $3,500. And it has two hours of battery life. Only two hours! So that means you're probably going to have to use it while keeping it plugged in and stuff like that. Like, come on, man. Th when I heard that, when I heard the price, I got snapped back to reality and I realized, oh yeah, this is an Apple product, which is very expensive. I'm not going to buy this. Like, the Oculus Quest and the Meta Quest VR headsets those being sold for like $400, $500. And, and why is this thing that is not much better than those things are being sold, that like, is being sold for $3,500? It's like Apple are expecting people like they're not able to buy the other products because it's our own software. They're not going to be able to adapt to the other softwares. They're, they're only going to be able to adapt to Vision OS and Vision OS only. Apple, no. For the normal person like me who has owned an Android before and who has actually owned an Android before an iPhone. Yes, that is true. Um, I know how to adapt to things, right? I have used Windows before. Windows 10 and 11. And no, no, I've used Windows XP, Vista, 7, 8, uh, 10, and 11. Those are all the windows I've used across my lifetime. So let's just say I have a good understanding of using other softwares, okay? So now, that, so yeah, that price completely turned me off, and now I'm going to go look for the Oculus or the MetaQuest. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this thing because it has been storming the internet by, taking the internet by storm. Um... And I feel like I'm obligated to talk about this thing as I've made many, 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 many Apple videos in the past. And I was going to cover the entire event, but let's be honest, this year's WWDC was pretty underwhelming. Like, it was very, very underwhelming. You have iOS 17, iPadOS 17, uh, tvOS 17, um, macOS Sonoma, and all these softwares feeling like minor upgrades to the to like all the previous softwares. And then you have Vision OS and the Apple Vision Pro, which looks pretty cool, but then after you then, then you see the price and then you realize, oh yeah. It's Apple. And they're gonna price everything extremely expensive.